Okay. Wow. All right. Well, here we are. We are back in Stormland, guys. And, uh, man, I got to tell you, this is the second time I've seen this uh, in a conference setting. I cannot wait to play this in my own house because this game just looks good. So, all right. Uh, obviously, I am here at PAX East. Uh, and courtesy of Oculus, we are trying Stormland in the Rift S. And, man, I got to tell you. Uh, last time I played this was in the original Oculus Rift, so it is going to be interesting to see a compare and contrast between the two systems. Now, as I play, I am going to kind of talk about some of those comparisons. comparisons. So right here, first thing first, we're in a black screen. So I know one of the things that a lot of people have been kind of nervous or worried about is the screen in the Oculus Rift S. What do the black levels look like? Well, let me tell you, it's not horrible. It's not true black, but it's not horrible. So, you know, I think the best comparison I'm going to be able to give you guys is is if you uh, have an Oculus Go, this Verified. is pretty much the screen in the Oculus Go. So, I mean, systems. it is almost a one-to-one -one comparison um, to my Oculus Go. Uh, the black levels are not horrible, but they are a little bit gray. So I'm just going to throw that out there. Now, the other big thing that I have had a, a lot of people talking about over on Reddit, i uh, heard a lot of uh, buzz about it, is um, the uh, field of view. A lot of people are saying it's smaller. Some people are saying it's bigger. And, you know, quite honestly, I cannot... I cannot tell a difference between the Oculus Rift and this. It's, a, you know, if any difference, if, if anything feels smaller on this field of view, it almost feels like it's smaller vertically than it is horizontally. Um, you know, but uh, really, if you're used to the Rift, it's going to be no different, guys. So, all right. Uh, so let's see here. We've uh, talked a little bit about uh, the field of view. We have talked a little bit about the black levels. Um, what else is there? The clarity. Yeah, let's talk about the clarity for a minute. Because you guys know the one thing that just bothers me about the Oculus Rift is the God Rays. I hate it. I still to this day hate. I still to this day do not understand why Oculus and their infamous wisdom ever went with those horrible Fresnel lenses in the Oculus Rift. But they did. And we all suffered for it. We all suffered from God rays. And let me tell you, right now, I am not seeing hardly any God rays in these lenses. I mean, this is what I was hoping the original Oculus Rift would have looked like. So there you go. I talk with my hands, and that's like really cool to see the robot. So, but you know, that's that. That's it in a nutshell, guys. If I had to put one thing, one thought on the Rift S. This is what I thought coming from the DK2 to the CV1 that the CV1 was going to be. So it has the clarity that I'm looking for. It, it, it has the comfort that I'm looking for. Now, I, I say the comfort. I'm still getting a little used to the, uh, the head strap here. Uh, I, I have been playing with the Odyssey Plus for a while, so I am now more used to the Halo style. But, uh, you know, overall, it is a very comfortable headset. So, you know, they've definitely, they've definitely made some trade-offs. We all know that. Um, you know, going to this style over the other style, eh, I can take it or leave it. I mean, it just really depends on your head shape, your head size. But for this, uh, for me, this one works really well. Okay, so, you know, we've talked about the screen, we've talked about the comfort, we've talked about the clarity. So, the big, the big thing that everybody is wondering about, oh, I'm missing fingers, um, is the tracking. And right now, guys, let me tell you, I am absolutely floored by the tracking of this device. Uh, I mean, it is definitely very, very well tracked. Um, I wish I could put my hand across. Uh, I can't get my hand back far enough to see if all of a sudden it comes across the headset. But um, can I do things behind my back? Well, I did yesterday. I was playing Asgard's Wrath, and I, I you know, I was swinging the, the sword. I could see it over here, and then I got in Oculus Home a little bit, and I was shooting a pistol, and I was shooting it behind my back, and I could see it, like, you know, going everywhere. So it is definitely 
definitely tracking well. So I don't know, unless you are a super high-end pro ESL player, I don't know if it's something that you're going to even need to worry about. Uh, you know, if you are a super high-end pro ESL player, well, you know, I don't know, guys. I, I don't play those games, so I don't know if it is tracking good enough for you or not. But for me, just for, you know, a kind of a... Uh, a little bit better than casual gamer, obviously, because, you know, I'm out here playing all the time. Um, it uh, definitely works just fine. All right, well, so that's all pretty much it in a nutshell, guys, on the headset. Now I'm just going to play the game. I'm just going to enjoy this because I really, really enjoyed Stormland at OC5. Um... Well, no, there is one more thing I'm going to say about the headset. It is uncomfortable as hell to wear these headphones. I'm not going to lie. Um, so, you know, there are some companies out there. Um, I know there was a company, I don't know the name of, that they were putting out some sort of weird uh, little clip-on headphones for the uh, for the PSVR systems. I uh, really, really hope that somebody comes third party and brings us something like that. Uh, because... Having these over that enormous head strap is what's really making it uncomfortable for me. Headset itself, very comfortable. Um, with the headphones on, not so much. So, all right, let's get that up here. Man, I gotta tell you, this game just looks incredible. I mean, it absolutely looks phenomenal in this headset. Uh, I mean, okay, like I said, I played it at OC5 in the original Rift, but there, you know, something about having the higher resolution and the better optics is just doing justice to this. Uh, Suggestion: Hold hand grip to attract out of reach objects. I get it. I've already been grabbing things. And so. Gorgeous. Let me just check your scans. Whoa! Oh my God! You're like right in my face. We'll just pop the arm off and get you a new one. The model detail yeah, on this is right insane. Off. God, that looks good. Don't be so dramatic, Nick. It's crisp and it's clear and it's bright. <laughs> That's what I've been it. looking for. Ah, see? Right there. Okay, like, you guys, I don't know if you saw that, but I literally just got tangled in my headphone wire, and I'm going to, like, jerk my headphones out. So, definitely not something that I am liking about the Rift S. Just going to say that. Liking the Rift S, don't get me wrong. Not liking this. Suggestion. Grip your dominant arm. Really wish I still had my built-on headphones. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Can't throw a hammer at you. Um, okay, so how do I get up in there? Awesome. Okay, well, it looks like I'm stuck. Maybe I went the wrong way. I think I went the wrong way. Workbench. <laughs> nice. Oh, totally just ripped my own arm off. 
suggestion. Oh, that's great. Press damaged arm on crafting station. Attached. Running diagnostics. Hand laser detected. I tell you, the IK in this is like really, really good. Laser output meets specifications. Suggestion: apply laser to obstructive foliage. Very nice. Transport bay is now online. Very, very nice, Jade. Use palm menu to track current objectives. Alert. New objective acquired. Liking this part a lot last time. Slipstream traversal not possible. Suggestion install arm thruster upgrade. Oh, God, that looks good. Slipstream traversal. Not Very possible. nice. Suggestion. Okay, so, well, you know, I think I'm going to go ahead and cap this here because I really wasn't doing a gameplay video. Uh, this was really meant more as a, uh, uh, you know, just a little way for me to kind of talk to you guys about what I'm seeing in the Rift S here. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to lie, guys. It, it's definitely got its trade offs, uh, but I do like the headset. So I'm going to leave it at that. All right, this is VR Gamer Dude. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Peace.